They convicted Terry Johnson of brutally killing Christopher Mosher. Christopher is my firstborn son. And, you know, I've just missed so much of life. Here's a guy in his late 70s, and he spends his time setting up mannequins in lingerie. But it's not only corpses that attract necrophiles. He drew the line down her nylons to make it look like it was a seam. Charm was his greatest weapon. Dozens upon dozens of women suffered. This was the most complicated case that I ever investigated. We're dealing with a monster of some sort. To what magnitude, we had no idea. She was thrown away like she was a piece of garbage. They had found my mother in a black plastic bag. Then we found the list of ten. They arrest 27-year-old Kendall Francois, the prime suspect in their investigation of at least eight women who vanished without a trace since October 1996. Under questioning, Francois shocks detectives, confessing to the murders of four of the prostitutes and claiming that he stashed their dead bodies inside his house. And his assaults of these women, that he actually takes them back to his home and lives among their dead bodies. He is just a true psychopath who has really no consideration of other human lives. Michael Corbett died in the summer of 2019 in his cell. Freddie Lee Glenn remains locked up in the Colorado State Penitentiary. Let me talk about my sister for a second. She uh, graduated at the head of a class.